Hi guys, so I had a request for a video on emphatic auxiliaries, okay? So, if we look at I love you versus I do love you, the do in this case is kind of emphatic because we're not using it, we're not using it for a question, we're not using it for a negation of some sort, it's just kind of like to emphasize, like, like in Spanish we say, si damo, yeah? So, I love you, damo, si damo, I do love you, okay? So we emphasize that, okay? Now, if you look at this, she speaks Spanish. Mm -hmm. She does speak Spanish, okay? So just be careful, guys, with the other verb. You need to have it in base form, okay? So you can't say she does speak Spanish. Uh -huh. So that's like, ella habla español. Ella sí habla español. She does speak Spanish, okay? Uh -huh. Let's have a look at this one. I went to the party. I did go to the party. Yeah. So the question is, when do we use this? Um, usually we use it to contradict somebody or to deny information. So, for example, um, uh, you didn't go to the party. Yes, I did go to the party. She doesn't speak Spanish. Yes, she does speak Spanish. Or, um, I love you. Uh, or, I do. You don't love me. Oh, I do love you. Like, you're emphasizing. Okay? So, this is based on something we call contrastive stress. So, for example, if you say to somebody, the number is 7225896321, and they're just kind of like confirming the number. And you're like, oh, no, no, it's 722489, yeah? So what you're doing there with this, you're contrasting, yeah? And when you use contrastive stress, you emphasize, okay? So, um, for example, you could say, you wouldn't like to live in Africa, would you? Yes, in fact, I would, yeah? And you would emphasize that because it makes a contrast. That's called contrastive stress, okay? Or another example could be, she can't drive. Actually, she can drive, que si puede manejar. Yeah. So you add a little bit of more emphasis when you're contrasting. Okay? I hope this information helps guys.